Today we're gonna be zipping it and zooming it and zooming it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Lucy here with my blue ones here. My, my nice skin, my little tan skin. And today we are going to be um, doing, which is one of my favorite videos to do. I feel like this is probably my most popular video in addition to like a uh, drugstore or like popular items that is on the market for beauty reviewing testing doing a wear test whatever you want to call it for the anesthesia luminous foundation the color is 430w i got a sample so if you're interested in finding out if this anesthesia luminous foundation works for my skin if i like it and get any opinions on it then subscribe and then continue to stay tuned I don't want to take it back with Tatcha so canvas. I remember, you know, 2018 this being like the biggest thing um, ever. And then didn't Elf come out with their version of it, which was like an eighth of the price or something ridiculous like that. And I've had this for a while. When I used to work at Sephora, they gave this to me. I remember I was going to a new store and um, I just remember like getting that in a bag and I was like this is so cool because you know one I'm not spending $52 on this bitch. Luckily the girl filled this little jar. I wouldn't say to the brim but she wasn't stingy with it which is nice because I've definitely been to um, Sephora's where they'll do like literally one pump and you're like sis you know damn well ain't nothing for me to do with that. And they're like, oh, it's just a sample to try on. Okay, well, I, that was the case I would have done at the fucking store, bitch. Um, we're going to do a sponge on this side and brush on this side, and then we'll see which one I like. I'm going to use a side that has no foundation and go from there. I didn't really look up reviews for this. I feel like I need another pump. That's immediately. This is very, very sheer. Um, I've been trying not to look up reviews because I don't want anything to sort of sway me. I think if you definitely want to purchase something, do it, but I wasn't even sure. I'm really not in the market for a foundation because I really want to use what I already have. First things, first, first impressions, I need another pump. And I'm wondering if the brush is going to do me better. I immediately noticed it's a very sheer coverage. I don't hate the color, I'll say that. Um, in person. In person and on camera, it's looking good so far. But I'm curious if somebody owns the bottle, how many pumps do they need before they're like satisfied? I guess. Um. Uh, I think the sponge and the brush are doing the same thing, in my personal opinion. I kind of look like I have a mask on just a tad. I'm wondering, does anybody know? Can you, if if you do know, can you sign off in the comment section and let me know? Um, does this oxidize? Because right now I'm looking really masky on camera, and in person I feel I got a lot of work to do with my concealer and powder. Let's say that. I'm still not satisfied with the coverage. I literally just dipped the sponge in there. And we're going ham. It's been a long time since I've given myself like full, 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 full coverage. <laughs> um, and it feels like for this episode of does this fucking sample work? Um, oh, I look crazy. I like when I look crazy, but not that kind of crazy. Does this bitch oxidize? Please let me know in the comment section. Does this oxidize? If you have it, do you like it? What conceal? Conce concealer. Um. What um. What products have you used? Is powders, primer? Like, talk to me. Talk to me. To be honest, even though I did take a break from YouTube, I didn't really see a lot of people talking about this foundation so i'm really curious okay i finally got the coverage i wanted so now i'm curious if you own this bottle does it take a lot of pumps because that's the one thing i don't like about fenty i have always felt like fenty needs like maybe like 10 pumps before you get the coverage you might desire maybe 15 if you really with the shit Okay, I think I like sponge a little bit better. Okay. Um, I'm having like an issue covering this spot, but I wonder if 
Let's just dab that part, okay. I just like that no matter how much pressure I've applied with this Real Techniques, my skin looks, it definitely lives up to the hype of being luminous. Not the hype, but the, the name of it being luminous. That's something that I really like. Um, I don't feel like I have like a, a, a very thick layer. I'm curious how this works with concealer and powder and I'm excited to like do all of that. Um... But so far, I do feel like I'm wearing a mask, but I'm, I feel like, just ride this out, Cherry. Like, let's, let's see what happens next. Let's see what we could zoo. Because we want to zip it and zoo it. Zip it and zoo it. If anybody watches Wendy Williams, please let me know. She's always saying that shit. She's so fucking funny. So I've been using 360 from Fenty. I used to use 385. But I used to use 385 and mix it with um, the Makeup Revolution. I bought the new one and it's hydrating. And I kind of want to put like just a little bit like right in here. Just a little bit. Oh, I look like a kitty cat. Meow. I like to mix it. There's this picture on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's listed right there. Um, that I did my makeup in the summertime. And, uh, I just really liked how light underneath my eyes is. I like a light under eye. I love my roommates, but there's nothing in this world. Like a little piece of quiet by yourself. Even with the powder, I feel like I'm not really wearing anything. And that is a nice feeling. I'm gonna add in just a little bit of color. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Side note, my most popular video on my channel is about this powder. And I went away uh, uh, about two weekends ago and I took this powder and I used this on my friend's, ma uh, uh, friend's face. And she said, girl, I look too dark, but this shit look flawless. So I haven't used it in so long because um, the video that I did, I was saying how um, it was like a little too dark. I probably should have used that in the summer. Ooh, bitch. So now I'm just trying to bring back some color and dimension. Um, I used to use the Kylie bronzer. I have another bronzer or contour that I really like. I love the Kat Von D. I love the one from Cover Effects. But lately, I just like refill. You ever have makeup that's in your stash and you refall in love with it? Haven't used it in months, maybe a year. The Superstay is my most popular video on this channel, which I will link. And I always get comments from women that are like, you're wearing the wrong one. Obviously, bitch. You know, I, I didn't realize it until I started fucking watching or, or, or I went through the... You know, I'm going through the process of of the fucking video and you're over here telling me something that I can obviously see. Like, shut the fuck up, please. People are so weird. I'm going to do, actually, you know what I'll do is, because I kind of want to, like, really listen to some music and kind of get in my, my mode and, like, observe the makeup a little bit, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera, come back in a few minutes and give you some thoughts and decide then if I want to do uh, a wear test. Cool. Cool. I'm back. All right, time for final thoughts. Final thoughts are here. Um, I really like the foundation. I'm enjoying this look. Brows are kind of pissing me off, but that's just the struggle of the caterpillar eyebrows. So let's talk about um some stuff. Um, I really like it. Um. I probably am not the happiest in one regard is mainly because myself I am someone who is extremely oily and I'm oily whether I'm wearing makeup or not and I feel like I put a little bit too much powder on because I'm just so used to doing that I wear makeup all year round and so it's sort of just I just did what which was normal to me and I'm curious because I'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow and I'm curious how this is gonna look on my skin if I just lightly powder one of the techniques I remember and also mostly a lot of like uh, professional makeup artists do which I think a lot of us should do I think we have been 
conditioned to do makeup the way that influencers and beauty bloggers and gurus have been doing it that we should probably try something else I'm guilty of it um, this seems to last the longest and it is a little bit thicker this is more of your like TV photo print kind of makeup um, event kind of makeup and a lot of professional makeup artists usually like dip a little bit of the powder in and they kind of press and roll so that they're not like we're conditioned I feel like to see the powder underneath my eyes looks glorious I really 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 like it um, I'm glad that I use my derma blend I'm happy that this foundation worked with my concealer everything looks really smooth and I think it looks good on camera and off camera which I would definitely recommend I just think that I should try this again and use a different technique other than what I'm used to because I'm curious what the luminosity would look like because you're not really able to see that I brought it out back because I just used this uh, Dr. Dennis Gross C plus collagen perfect skin set and refresh mist I really like this for days that I do what I did today which was add so much fucking powder because I'm just used to that and then I look kind of I just feel like I looked a little ashy and then this just brought it to life and then I like added a little bit of highlight I did the rest of my makeup but even if I was to go out right now I would really really love this I want to say that I'm not the craziest about the color yeah I'm curious what the next one look would look like because I do feel like it's a little bit on the yellow side I required I relied excuse me I relied heavily on the powders to balance everything out I'm thoroughly excited and happy about the end result of this makeup there are just like a little twist and turns but overall I really like the foundation I would recommend it I love that I don't feel like I really have anything on I think we are leaving this era of matte 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 nude lip just like basic girl makeup and we're kind of going on the natural side and I don't think I will ever be a natural because I love extended glam that's what I like to call it, extended glam and I'm just a glamazon girl and so um I want to achieve the glamazon glow without having to add powder just because I'm afraid of looking like a grease ball and I will eventually figure that out and add this to my channel as time goes on would I purchase this absolutely I just want to make sure that I get the right color so that I'm not heavily you know reliant on bronzer and contour that I can just like really get well looks good but this looks really good to me I really like it I will say that I'm genuinely concerned how many pumps I'll have to use because I felt like I had to keep dipping in there to really get the coverage that I like if you are someone who likes sheer to medium absolutely you know I like my full coverage just because I have dark spots and I'm pretty much used to it I want to get to a point that as my dark spots tend to fade that I will be more on the medium I will never be a sheer I will never be a tinted minted moisturizer like that's just not my jam I love a little B and that's what I did so this wraps up this video I'm not gonna do a wear test because I don't feel like it's necessary if I end up wearing this and feeling like recorded then you'll see another video but I feel like there's some other foundations that are on the market that um, need my attention and I will be back into Sephora and I will be doing that as soon as possible so Thank you guys so much for watching my channel another thing I wanted to say is that I've been wanting to introduce it to my channel for a while I started learning how to do tarot card it's this channel is not going to turn into a tarot card video absolutely not but I picked a card and the card that I will be sleeping with tonight that's been giving me a loud rude awakening and to pay attention is the strap card this is a major arcana and this is just a reminder like I have been through hell and back in 2019 and that with 2020 approaching literally around the corner it's basically telling me that like my strength is gonna get me through anything and so that's my card of the day I'll probably add one maybe in every other video if you're into it let me know sign off in the comments don't forget to subscribe like and share and I will see you guys next year no I'll see you guys soon before the year is over Ooh, I should do a New Year's Eve makeup sign off in comments if you want me to do a New Year's Eve makeup see you soon bye